cameras thanks for tuning in and today we are heading into Spanish town yes that is in St. Catherine Jamaica yes as you look at the sign on the left you are welcome to St. Catherine so we are on our way right now yes then we are about to pass the toll that leads you to Ocherios or Montego Bay, Nickel, no side. And this is, here it is on the right, and this also leads to Cayman as River. So you can take this road and it bring you around to Cayman as River. Beautiful place. Wow, one of my favorite. You can go and check out my previous video. You will see the name, so you can know which one. It's a really nice place. Go and check it out after you finish watching this video. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're cruising on the highway right now. Or half the highway. travelers here in Jamaica yes and it's about what time is it now one minute to one yes it's almost one o'clock right now so now on my left ear you have a couple of business places yeah, Sherlyn Williams I Pro Mistress Chicken um, What is this one? We Cinco And you have Lasco coming up on the corner right here You see the yellow The more yellow um, The pink and silver building Or pink and grey I'm not sure This on the left right here is Lasco Yes And we are taking a stroll into Spanish town but we are not taking the bypass we are going directly into the heart of Spanish town yes so we are going to make a stop in Spanish town But 
we are coming up to the fishery yes this is a well-known spot in St. Catherine where you can get fish to buy but they only sell freshwater fish so that is it and it's right here on my left it's right here on my here it is and on my right is Jamaica Constabulary Force the National Police College of Jamaica and right here Jamaican dogs smart you know Jamaican dogs smart these dogs actually use the pedestrian crossing believe me yes so we're taking a tour I do not remember the name of this road but I'll put it on the screen here we're passing progressive groceries on the right Another gas station right here, Pitcom. Yep, you have Phil's hardware here on the right. Empty land. Oh, it's a football field. So, this is a football field. The community, for the community right here. some more sales out on the front here people selling clothes fruits gifts and a lot of business on the right here hopefully you can see it now we're back on the move you can see people traversing buses taxis Regular vehicle. And this is Spanish Town. We are in Spanish Town currently at the moment. Yes, and this route you can get the six bus. You see it in front me right there, which travel from Spanish Town to Portmore. So if you're going so if you're going to Portmore from Spanish Town you can take a six bus. It's a mini bus tour. Yes. And you can also get bus to go to half a tree and one to go to downtown Kingston. Yep, from Spanish Town. coming to the Spanish Town Bridge this is a ancient bridge from way back then and they have a river running beneath it yes here we're coming up to the Spanish Town Hospital wow and there's a lot of traffic guys how we gonna do this a lot of traffic right here. Oh, we should have turned the next way. That is it. It seems to be moving. Moving at the moment. 
moment. Yup, traffic, traffic, traffic. People traversing. Over here on my right is the Sports Development Foundation of Jamaica. Oh, what is going on right here? Over here, um, what do you call this plaza here? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, what is this? What is the name of this place? Yes, so this is a plaza here or a small mall. I do not remember the name. There is a lot over there. Different, different. You can see all these different signs. That is what you can expect over there. Should I go over? Alright. Gonna take a small detour. Gonna take a small detour. Let's see. Wow, this place is full. Oh my. Oh my. This place is full. getting out of here guys people I'm not staying here oh wow there's a spot right there a spot right here road which can lead you to the Spanish Town Bypass Road but we are going back onto Burke Road which is directly in front of us where we will continue our journey mm -hmm. you heard me yeah so back on the main road the next we're heading to the town center in Spanish town. Yep, here is Spanish town police station on the left here. like some football event is going on over the sports development they call it I don't remember the name a quick reminder on Burke Road during peak hours traffic can get 
very hectic yes so you might find a lot of vehicles and the traffic might be very heavy during the peak hours so just take that into consideration whenever you're coming into spanish town and you're driving on or driving to Bern. i'm gonna do my thing like this some sports is going on football is playing right now over the sports development feel or whatever it's called Shoppers fear over here on the left and right out here. They have different vendors selling products here on the front. See some of the number six bus here. And the rain is coming down. It's about to rain. How are you going? How are you going? This place, you know. wondering what is going on if there's no entrance in here today or the place is that full so in Spanish town town center our shopping center I should say and this is the parking area to make a stop here this is Spanish Town shopping mall and as you can see there is a lot of parking space and there is a lot more offered to you inside this is a prime location where many people visit daily so you can check them out whenever you're in Spanish Town and you need to make a quick stop mm -hmm. Back on the move and now we are making our way onto March Pen Road 
where we are going to take a little stop at the Oasis shopping mall so you can get a clear indication of what to expect there. On Marchman Road, the place is very vibrant during the day and you can experience the true and real authentic life of Jamaicans here in Spanish Town. Mm -hmm. Plaza, here you can see you have KFC, Quartz, Scotia, Juicy Beef Patties, um, Imperial Optical Jamaica, and many more stores here. I'm going to take a small tour and let you see what is going on, okay? Just driving through showing you what to expect here in Oasis Mall so it is a nice location a lot of people come here to do business and to purchase so you can check it out whenever you're in Spanish Town Oasis Mall mm -hmm. so you have scoop or scoopies you have gardens garden Chinese restaurant Oh, there's a lot here. You have, you have a furniture store here, a jewelry store, a pharmacy. Oh, there's a lot here.
Amish town and you can get almost anything you want here so if you want juice if you want food it there if you want clothes if you want shoes it there if you want all supplies if a grocery I buy it there fruits whatever you need just check it out Spanish town is a one-stop place so the vibes nice everything nice man just check it out man Spanish town mm -hmm. so we are leaving March Penn Road going on to the Spanish Town Bypass Road and across on my right is March Penn Community and now we are traveling along the bypass heading towards Salpan Road we are not turning on Salpan Road but we are heading towards that direction mm -hmm. so if you are here at the moment please remember to like the video if you're loving the vibes yes and subscribe for future videos like these Now we are coming up to the intersection where you can find Salpan Road and Bernard Lodge Main Road that is on the right and both roads can lead you to Portmore City and on my left is Whitechurch Street which will lead you to the intersection to Burke Road and on my left is De La Vega City Community. So on the bypass, just as Burke Road, during peak hours, the road can be filled with traffic. So going into Spanish Town during the peak hours, yes, you can find a lot of traffic on the bypass. So you can take that into consideration as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And remember, if you're loving the video and you're loving the vibes, please remember to hit the like button and press subscribe. Yeah. So if you want to support the journey, if you want to support the movement, the only admission to the video is to like and subscribe. Yeah. So just hit the like button and press subscribe and come over to the cameras family. You know you're always welcome. Mm -hmm. Jamaica is filled with lush greenery all around 
it's truly paradise trust me and if you take a drive right around the country you will see exactly what i'm talking about so anytime you feel like visiting jamaica or you're you're living in jamaica please take the time out and explore jamaica from cameras you're truly mm -hmm. okay we're getting closer to the Twickenham Park roundabout which will lead us back into Kingston and on the journey there are some more places you can see and how the place is at the current moment so stay tuned for that mm -hmm.